I think preparation is good. Obviously, uh, the biggest winter, I think, ever in DTM history. So uh, maybe a good thing. We have the new shape change, obviously, with our new generation of C-Class body. Um, but, you know, the team obviously has to develop on and, and try and come back with a, a championship winning car as it had last year. And I think arriving here, Hockenheim for the last test, uh, we're, we're good prepared. Uh, we just need to see whether the car is competitive enough against our, our other other manufacturers. And many things. Um, I won't go into the details because obviously it's very confidential, but I think it's baseline in the car, see where we left off from October last year at the last race. Um, and ultimately we need to go forward because um, in motor racing things evolve. Um, but as long as you have a good feeling, I think the, the, the short impressions we have from the team and certainly from Monte Blanco, the test before was good. Um, it's obviously going to be quite a busy year with me um, along my DTM, which is the important thing. I, I have the reserve driver role with Williams Formula One. Um, so I'm attending the next two Grand Prix, uh, which will be in China and Russia. Uh, it's always nice to hear fresh ideas and what's coming from that. Formula One is obviously quite a high level. Uh, but other than that, just training, preparing, speaking to my guys and um, yeah, coming, coming to Hockenheim whenever the, the first race starts. With their
it's it's tough in the DTM because the, the testing is so limited. You know, we, we we didn't we haven't been on track since say October here at Hockenheim, and then you have five months or four months, five months for the engineers to think about what to do, and then we have to squeeze it all into four days. So there's so much stuff to test and so many things we want to try and do that sometimes you come away and think you're quite disappointed we didn't manage to do anything. But I think. Actually, we, we, we managed even to get quite a lot done. I mean, the main thing is trying to get the reliability up to make sure the car is reliable and we can do as many laps as we want. Um, the other thing, obviously, here at Hockenheim, the weather hasn't been great, which affects the testing because your testing is based around having a nice dry circuit and consistent conditions. So when it rains on and off, it disrupts the testing quite a lot. So we haven't done as much as we'd like um you know but it's the same for everybody and and i think that we uh hopefully come the first race we'll be ready you're always looking about um trying to improve the balance of the car and and looking for the right compromise because you're always looking for a compromise between between aerodynamic performance downforce and mechanical because they're actually the opposite to each other you know in relation if you want good mechanical grip for low speed corners the car needs to be soft and needs to be stuck to the road and then for aerodynamics for high speed it needs to be very stiff and keep the car very flat so it's it's finding a good compromise between the two and then the second thing that probably the more important thing is to try and get the, the best out of the Hankook tires you know it's you can you can change this car setup for a week and find half a second you can change the tire how you use the tires and find one second in in a day you know so it's, it's really important to get the right temperatures, the right pressures, and the problem is the outside temperature of the, of the air and the, and the circuit changes how you're supposed to use the tyres, so it's always a, it's a moving target all the time. So uh, understanding the tyres is probably the most important thing. It's too close. I mean, if we see from, see from last year, you know, the, they were very closely matched in the last couple of races, and I expect the same again this year. I don't think there's really any big gaps, and the cars haven't changed that much. So. If we do a good job, I expect us to be fighting, hopefully, in the top top 10, yeah, hopefully further up. If we don't do a great job, we'll probably be towards the back, but I, I hope we're gonna have a good year. But to be honest, I think it's gonna be a very close and very tight fight again. So I don't think there's really any big, big advantages or disadvantages for anyone so far. We've raced here so many times, you know, we do the first and last race here pretty much every year. So we've, we've done a lot of testing here. I've driven thousands of laps around this circuit. So um, I think it's, it's good to come to a circuit with the car that we know, because then you know what to expect. So it, it is good, but to be honest, I think it's the same for everybody. Um, and, uh, you know, maybe we're a little bit more prepared for the first race than the other races because we're testing here. But um, to be honest, it's, um, yeah, it, it's not so important, I wouldn't say. Obviously, after the testing, we have to go and analyze all the data we have and, and try and uh, put together a good car for, for coming back here at the first race. So from the, from the team point of view, that's what's important is to analyze everything, analyze how we're doing pit stops, analyze the starts we're doing, analyze the car performance, and try and get ourselves as, as better prepared as we can for the first race at Hockenheim. And then personally, you know, I'll go back after, after, after the testing, see how I feel and, and try and make sure I'm in the best shape I can be.
Well, I think you can improve everything. Uh, it's great to be testing here in Hockenheim because it's the same place where we have the first race. So you can you can improve in every situation, and uh, we are trying to to get the best out of it and. Uh, Focusing on every aspect of the car, you know, on tires, on the setup of the car itself, on the aero of the car, everything. It's difficult to say. The first uh, real test is the first race, so right now it looks like everything is really close again because uh, every year in DTM everything is so tight. <laughs>
lot of running, uh, which was uh, important for us. We could have done uh, many tests, and also it was important for me to get mileage in the car. As I'm a rookie, you know, it's very important. So, um, so yeah, it was a really good day and a really important day. Well, let's see how we are in qualifying, you know, but uh, I think the car is competitive. We got a good base. Uh, on my side, uh, at the end, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm quick. Uh, I'm in the pace. So, uh, so let's see in quality how we are. Um, but I'm sure, yeah, we will be strong.